everyone. Welcome back to Fitness, Nutrition and Soul channel. In this video, we're going to learn about fat. Why fat is important in the diet, how much you should have in function of fat. So what happened in 1980s and 90s, there was a big media thing that the fat is bad for health. So many um, media sources such as newspaper, TV, um, billboards, they all blamed the fat is the cause of the obesity. But now the founding is, it's not the fat, now they're blaming the carbs. But even the carbs is not the uh, cause of the obesity either. It's the overall calories and the type of the food you eat. So but anyway, in this video, we're going to learn about why fat is important in diet, how much we should have, and what are the functions of the fat. As I said, I believe in the balanced diet rather than eliminating any macro diet. So in this video, we will learn that uh, how, what's the role of the fat in the diet. So first of all, we need to see the fat is divided into the saturated fat and the unsaturated fat. So a saturated fat is the one which doesn't go to any bone and is found in your um, like coconut oil and the butter in the solid form. And unsaturated fat is one which is found more in the liquid form. And that unsaturated fat is divided into the MUFA and PUFA. The MUFA stands for the monounsaturated fatty acids and PUFA starts, uh, stands for polyunsaturated fats. The PUFA is then further divided into the omega-3 and omega-6 and the AO, omega-3 and omega-6 they also call the EFA that means they call the essential fatty acids that the body needs it to uh, for certain functions in the body so the very first function of the or the very first important role of the fat is the your cell membrane we got around 70 trillion cells and every cell is made up of the membrane so if this is a cell this is the membrane it's also known as a plasma membrane. Now that is made up of around 75% phospholipid, 20% uh, cholesterol and 5% glycolipids. So as you can see that the cell membrane makes the fat to make the plasma membrane. The second one is if you're having the essential fatty acids, it's raise the HDL which is a high density lipoprotein that means your, it raises your high uh, cholesterol level and it lowers the low density lipoproteins that means it lowers your cholesterol uh, level or the bad one the third point is that the fat is the uh, sorry the brain is the fattest organ in the body and it needs omega-3 so your brain is nearly 60% fat and the, what they found is the people who um, especially in India, they found that they, they say it's generally that the South Indians are more smart than the North Indians because they eat fish. And the reason is it's higher in omega-3. Uh, the fourth one is um, it decreased the bone loss by increasing the calcium utilization in the body. The fourth one is it reduced the symptom of the arthritis and that's also because of the essential fatty acids. Not the coconut, not, not the saturated fat here, it's essential fatty acids. It promotes the wound healing, it improves the skin quality, it improves the mental condition. Actually, they find that if, you're, if your diet is around only 10% of the fat, it can affect on the mental condition in the long term. Uh, the ninth one is the um, uh, hormones, which is your testosterone. So, there are two types of the hormones. So there are water-based hormones and then there's a fat-based hormones. So testosterone is a fat-based hormone. It needs the cholesterol, it, ne it needs the saturated fat, um, not the cholesterol, sorry. It needs the saturated fat um, for the body to build it. So the saturated fat is really important for the testosterone. And it needs for the vitamin, fat soluble vitamin absorption. So such as your vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin K, vitamin E, they're all the vitamin, uh, they're all fat soluble vitamins. So they don't absorb properly if you don't have diet, if you don't have fat in your diet. The next one is it provides the insulation. The third one, especially if you live in the cold temperature, it really provides the insulation. The twelfth one is it's the energy production. So the body store uh, um, fat so that when we go into starvation mode, it can survive on the fat. So it can help in the energy production and it also provides the, the um, energy on the everyday life anyway. Um, uh, the 
Another one is the, or the last one is this tighty control. Um, that means that it actually you know, keeps you fuller for longer. Now, let's have a look at how much we should have. So as we learned that there are important roles of fat in the diet. Now, how much you should have? So around 20 to 35 percent of your diet should be come from the fat. But one thing we need to be really mindful is that the one gram of uh, fat got nine calories, which is nearly more than double of carbs and protein. Because carbs, one carb, one gram of carbs and one gram of protein got only four calories. So the fat is very high in calories. So that one we need to be mindful when we make the diet plan. So. 20 to 25 percent of your diet or if you're doing bodybuilding or the, if you want a really simple formula you can go from 1 to 1.5 gram per kilogram of your body weight if you're in a healthy range if you are obese then maybe you need to change the numbers um, now let's have a look at what are the essential fatty acid sources so your first one is your avocado which is really rich in the good in the mono, uh, um, monounsaturated fat fatty acids and it is known to reduce the uh, um, heart diseases the second one is fish which is rich in your omega-3 um, and then the omega-3 is divided further into the EPA and DHA which is found in fish DHA is really good for the heart and the EPA is really good for the brain the third one is the walnuts and the almonds they're rich in the polyunsaturated fats rich in omega walnuts is rich in omega-3 and it's rich in the ALA which is the alpha linoleic acid that's really important for the insulin as well then your fourth one is the olive oil uh, just in a moderation the fifth one is the ghee again in a small quantity you need the saturated fat in your diet but I think the only recommendation is 10 or 20 percent I really can't recall that it should come from the saturated fat um, coconut oil rich in MCT which is a medium chain triglycerides and um, also um, good source of the saturated fat uh, then it's your mustard oil which is mainly used in India and then the sesame oil so that's it guys and but um, one thing I'm sorry for to mention is that there are some fats which is no good for health so trans fats it's no good for health any hydrogenated uh, uh, oils or spreads they're no good for your health vegetable oil it's most of them are not really good for health um, corn oil canola oil I try to stay away from that because they are actually very high in omega-3 and another thing is that uh, we need a good balance of the omega-3 to omega-6 I think it's supposed to be 1 to some says 1 to 2 some says 1 to 4 but the way we eat these days it's for it's getting to like 1 to 10 so it's the balance which is really out of the whack which is causing all the inflammation in the body we then that inflammation caused the arthritis and it caused the it, it raised your hdl and so it's a ratio uh, so we need both omega-3 and omega-6 but the ratio should be one to two or one to three i'm not 100 percent sure at the moment but in, especially in the Western lifestyle, it's nearly one to ten. So the balance is really out for whack, which is causing so many health problems. Uh, that's it, guys. So I hope you learned from this video, and I will come back next week with another video. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching my video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do it now and press the uh, thumbs button so that you guys get the notification. Thanks.